We're right under the Oculus of the Art Science Museum. Okay, so this is Steph. We've seen her before and uh, she made me something. So let's probably open this. Oh, oh, what's that? It's not an apron. Yeah, it's not an apron. Yeah, it does look like an apron, but better. It actually fits this. Yeah, I hope it does. All right. Yay. Yay. Yeah, and there's a zip yeah, also. Super. Look at that. Yay. Where is it from? Uh, Lai Nai Xiong. Chinatown. Lai. Lai. Nai. Nai. Xiong. Xiong. The reason why I, I was asking her about the zipper and not the rest of the thing, because I actually got this bag from Uniqlo. Yeah, and basically she stitched everything for me. And uh, the handles are also from the Uniqlo bag. So this is the Uniqlo bag. Um, got it for yeah a steel and um, apparently one is enough to create this so yippee now i have a proper bag thank you so much and that's why we are here doing a lack of <laughs> So far more also, so we're on a, an architectural field trip from the Illinois Institute of Technology, Hello. Chicago. Uh, one week in Singapore, three days in KL. So we've come to Singapore to see the fantastic buildings. Wow, but you fantastic have fantastic urban spaces. Beautiful buildings there too in Chicago. Yeah. Different. Okay. No sky gardens, no uh, green walls, no sky bridges. Okay. No social housing that works at least. <laughs> so you've been in Singapore for about what six days? What's your favorite thing so far? Oh, yeah, that's difficult to say. I mean, we uh, we spent the whole day with Woha yesterday. I know Munsum Wong very well, so Munsum spent the whole day. Took us round um, Sky Villa at Dawson, Oasia, Park Royal at Pickering, Newton Suites, Kampong Admiralty, everywhere. That was a definite highlight. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. That's cool. Yeah. I so you know, <laughs> he's my nephew by marriage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So after seeing what everyone is producing, currently I am itching to sketch. So I'll be heading down to the ticketing center of this museum where I can sketch people. Hey everyone, what's up? So I was standing throughout the whole entire sketch so there's no place to mount my time-lapse camera so there was only that one last bit that you saw anyhow uh, it's almost time, let's go see what everyone is producing right now here at the Art Science Museum and by the way, my new bag so awesome! Such an ease to use so thanks again, Stephanie, for working on this for me. Goody, goody, goody. And the sun is out, so are you baking? Yeah. No, I'm prepared as you can see. Okay. I have used sun blocker and now I take out the heavy gear. Okay, <laughs> and you are wearing long sleeves, so that's good. Yeah, and I'm wearing long sleeves. Yeah. All prepared. <laughs> good. I haven't sketched in like, I don't know, what was it, like two years. It's been quite a bit, so. I, don't know, I wanted to start small. I don't think I was able to start with a 
like a city or a skyscraper yet so I just wanted to do like foreground and just people sitting around I kind of just subdivided this page and then went somewhere else and drew a couple other things so there we go just, design yeah. infusing design there. I drew Nate from a further distance and got the structure here and the lilies in front I don't know something simple and then I got that gentleman over here in Malhar until he moved, I believe it is. What's your impression of the uh, city? <laughs> it's really nice. It's so beautiful. It's very well maintained, which is nice. And it's just so awesome to just see the affordable housing side of it too. It's just something we don't have in Chicago, let alone the United States. The ability for the government to develop its own housing and help its citizens out. That's something that is very unique here and I appreciate a lot about at least this like the Singaporean government and being able to help its citizens. And I feel like that's something that the US should take a look at and figure out how to recreate. Very hot for us. Uh, we just came from negative twenty degrees Celsius but um, beautiful buildings. Almost each building is unique in its own way but I'm a, I have a history background in architecture as well, so... Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so uh, Chicago especially, it's uh, started as a very um, swamp-like town, very marshy town originally. Like Florida? Uh, um, kind of, yeah. yeah. Since it is close to uh, uh, Lake Michigan, which is a freshwater resource. So initially it started as like kind of the heart of the United States in terms of bringing forestry logs in and then down the river uh, towards the south of uh, the United States. But the big kind of event that happened in Chicago's history is the Great Chicago Fire, which was in 1871. No one really knows how the fire started, <laughs> but I think it was a, a cow that hit a oil lamp in a barn. And then uh, since all the buildings at the time were made out of wood, uh, almost two thirds of the city caught on fire. Uh, so eventually uh, they drew a plan called the uh, uh, Burnham's uh, Plan in 1909. Um, and that's where you kind of see uh, famous historical architects like Daniel Burnham, Frank Lloyd Wright, with the prairie style, Chicago style houses that they had. Um, yeah, and then that's kind of how we got the uh, very grid-like city, letting Chicago's riverfront, especially. And um, now uh, that grid kind of gives us Millennium Park, which is kind of like the heart of the city. The city is very clean, very green, <laughs> they built around. But yeah, I would, I would echo this well-maintained. It seems like a nice uh, sort of melting pot almost. Lots of different cultures on display, which is really fantastic to be honest. Um, really convenient too. Public transport and everything is amazing. And it seems very kind of innovative, what? at least with the architecture especially. Uh, they incorporate green greenery, which is pretty rare, at least in Chicago. But, uh, just so tiny. It that, okay, really, yeah, yeah, just sat next to the park, so okay. yeah, but uh, for this one. <laughs> Be inspired by the green. Exactly. Yeah. Singapore is kind of similar to Chicago in some senses with the cultural enclaves and the neighborhoods that you guys have, uh, like Chinatown and Little India. Uh, Chicago, we have Chinatown, Little India, um, Greek town, uh, a lot of Italian and Irish food as well. Um, so it's very uh, culturally diverse, just like here. I know, might as well. Sketch one of the most uh, iconic buildings in Singapore. Yeah. So what I did is I started with the thumbnail sketch. Um, using, I tried to lay out the composition uh, using law of thirds to kind of build up this interaction point of the sky bridge on top of the tower. Okay.
Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this session here. Small gathering called I Joe You. We're at the tail end of it, so let's uh, join in the throwdown to see what everyone has been working on. Hey everyone, you're tuned to the Elvin Mark Art Channel. I hope you enjoyed this session with the students and faculty of the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. I hope you managed to pick out the differences and similarities of architecture in Chicago and in Singapore. Well, time to go. Everyone continue to stay well, stay safe. Also, give me a shout out if you like my new bag for my long format sketches. We are here at the Art Science Museum here in Singapore. Until the next episode, everyone. Ciao, ciao.